Social media is buzzing with talk that Sandy is considering a homeless shelter. On Monday, the mayor shut down those rumors, making it clear that this will, quote, not be a homeless shelter. KUTV's Emma Riley is joining us live in Sandy. And Emma, what would the facility be used for? I reached out to Sandy Mayor Monica Zoltanski. A spokesperson tells me that it's too early in the process and they didn't want to talk in camera, on camera. And they sent me a statement from earlier this week. In the statement, it says a nonprofit organization wants to bring a transi transitional housing facility to Sandy. A local resident says that he isn't exactly against the idea. For everyone who says, you know, not in my home, not my backyard, oh, it's going to lower property values, it's going to increase crime. It doesn't. It's it's the people who think it's going to do it. That's, that's what causes the problem. Michael Weber lives in Sandy. Weber says he's not against transitional housing, telling me he's seen firsthand how helpful it can be. I have two uh, children, both with autism. Uh, my son is severe. Uh, he's 19, and we've now placed him in a group home. That took about two and a half years just to place him. And this is one of those things where, so I'm very aware of the need for places for people who are, for multiple reasons, needing a place to live. To learn more about the possible center in Sandy, I reached out to three different agencies. First, the mayor's office. I wanted to know how this would impact the city's budget and are they worried it could create a crime issue. In response, they sent me a statement saying it would be transitional housing, not a shelter. It would be catered to seniors, veterans, and medically vulnerable people who may require 24-hour care. Plenty of places we can find a, a, a deserving home for people who are a little down on their luck or just trying to find a way to have a second start. An online post said the road home was looking for a spot in the city. I emailed them asking about possible locations, services, and the success rate of transitional housing. They direct me back to Sandy Mayor Zoltanski. Lastly, I also reached out to the state homeless coordinator's office. They did not want to comment. And none of the agencies would confirm any possible locations, and the city says they haven't received any applications from a nonprofit organization, not even a road home. But once they do accept or receive an application, then the public will be able to give their comments. In Sandy, Emma Riley, KUTV, 2 News.